One question that never goes away is, how do I soak my pellets to get them perfect for the method feeder? Well, there's no simple answer to that. Basically, batches of pellets change all the time, so you have to be fully aware of this. But what I'll do is I'll give you a few simple tips, so hopefully your pellets be perfect every time. Step one, picking the right pellets. For today's session, I'm gonna be using the mainline match activated cell pellets. These are a two millimeter coarse pellet, which have got the added attraction of the cell flavor. The cell flavor gives them a lovely sweet smell and makes them really sticky. Step two, the fun part, soaking them. Basically, just get the Guru strainer. I've got the large one today, which fits in the large bake tub. I'm gonna pick the amount of pellets that I'm gonna use. Add those in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flood them in water. All I wanna make sure is all the pellets are covered so they have their own opportunity to make sure they take on all the water they need. Step three, the waiting game. For these pellets, because they're so sticky, they don't take long to soak at all. I usually give these 45 seconds to a minute at the max, and then I'll take them out of the strainer and let the water drain off. Step four, I'm gonna drain the water off now. Take as much of the water off as you can. And then I'd just like to leave them just for a few minutes just so those excess bits of water just drip off and the pellets can just breathe for a little while. So I'll leave them now for about five minutes. Step five, now this step has saved me a few times. Sometimes you can over soak your pellets. You get take them out the strainer and they're too sticky. They're really binding together. This is a cool little tip to save them that little bit. What I like to do, check all the excess waters off your pellets, fire them in a bucket, give them a good whoosh round so they've got loads of room to breathe. Give them an extra half hour, 40 minutes, just to dry out and your pellets will come back round. They'll be perfect then for a session. The final step. The pellets have been drying out now for probably about 45 minutes. They're looking great. Look at that. Make an easy ball. They break down nice and evenly. They're perfect to use. They even smell great too. There's only one thing left for it. Just fill these up. I'm off fishing. <laughs> <laughs>